Well, hell, guys. Happy Saturday. We're playing some gosh darn Batman. Starting up the Telltale game series. I love the Telltale game series. Alright. My headset isn't even that loud. There we go. A little better. Alright. Before we get started on our Batman shenanigans. Guys, it's that time. It's time to do our announcements. General Davis, thank you so much for the host. All right, I gotta turn this music way down. This is uh, like screaming in my ear. There we go. Always love a good tip. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. All right, let's back that up. Let's back that up, Batman. Let's do this. There we go. General Davis, thank you so much for the corgi biddies. I am much appreciated, squirrel friend. It is time to do our usual announcements. Oh, I need to bring up the incentives first of all. Ha ha. It's like I'm new at this. <laughs> I need more soda, guys. I haven't had enough soda this morning. That's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna blame it on. Alright. There we go. Uh, announcements. So you guys can bring up the incentives whenever you want. Oh no. My incentives aren't working. Stream, stream Deck failed me. You guys can do exclamation point incentive and bring up the incentives whenever you want. But... For $1, we have our usual uh, goofy dance break, so we will change the song and do a goofy little dance break. And then for a $2 donations, we will do the It's Raining Taco song and the It's Raining Tacos dance. At $3, we have our uh, lovely squirrel friend hat that you can trigger and I will have to wear for the rest of stream. Oh yeah, those are the eyes of a squirrel friend that's ready. And then we have, for $5, our regular uh, uh, ginger friends, where you can make your very own custom ginger friend, and it will appear on stream next time uh, down below on the ginger friend garland. So you guys get to... Oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh, Jesus. What What is happening to chat right now? Holy crap. Hang on. Hold on. Why? What happened? I'm going to time out Streamlabs right now. What is going on? Oh, no. Is it still going? Did it stop? Yeah. What the heck, Streamlabs? I think it stopped. <laughs> Streamlabs broke, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Yikes. Jesus, yes. <laughs> okay, I think it stopped. I think we're okay. Rip. Yeah, jeez, man. Okay, I think we're fine. Will it let me do Ginger Friends? Streamlabs needs to calm the F down. Hang on, let me make sure. Yeah, there's only one Streamlabs chatbot opening up. What did you do, Streamlabs? I'm gonna unmod Streamlabs for being a dick. <laughs> All right, guys. So anyways, I highly suggest giving Streamlabs a break for a second. So let's not use our commands for a minute just to be safe. So 
we have our custom ginger friends for five dollars where you can choose uh whatever facial expression you would like based off an emoji and then you get to choose on if they are wearing a sweater or vest and then what color sweater or vest and then you get to decide what color fancy sweet gumdrop buttons and bow tie you want so i will make that live on stream for five dollar donations i have my markers ready to go so i will make that live on stream and then next time it will show up on the garland of ginger friends down here and we're keeping the ginger friends for the rest of the month which is haha -ha, oh my god only until next week because next next saturday is a new month it's gonna be a new month already, guys. Uh. Uh. I don't know where the time went. <laughs> Alright, and then lastly, for our uh, donations, we have our $10 Flying Squirrel Kigurumi, so you guys can donate to trigger the Flying Squirrel Kigurumi time, where I will go grab my Kigurumi, put it on, and use my Flapples of Fury to fly around the room. And then also at every $25 uh, raised collectively, so right now we're $19, we're $6 away from triggering a giveaway from my very own Etsy shop where I make custom uh, crochet uh, craftiness and nerdy things so uh, giving away at the $25 uh, marker when we earn $25, giving away a TMNT coaster set modeled after our very own favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So you guys can trigger a giveaway with your donations and every $25 triggers a donation from my personal Etsy shop. I am so, so scared. I'm typing this. I'm not even going to use Stream Deck. It did it. It did it. We're okay. We're okay, guys. Oh. Okay, we're good. So, you guys can bring that up whenever you want by doing exclamation point incentives. There we go. Let's get rid of those incentives for right now so that you guys can enjoy the fanciness of Batman the Telltale series. So, let's get this uh started episode one crowd play hey hold up hold up what is crowd play i would like to i would like to know more about this is it where you guys can get involved because that would be awesome you know what i'm gonna start the episode anyways Fuck it, we're doing it live, guys. <laughs> Alright. Let's get it started. Episode 1. Maybe it'll explain. Everybody's vote counts. Aha! So I guess you guys can decide. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. I guess you guys can also join in on the game. This is going to be awesome, guys. I haven't done this before with the crowd play. So, woo, this is going to be exciting. So, there's the game code for you guys to get in. Uh, I'll leave it up for a minute while I have my soda. So, you guys can join in and also participate in the decision-making that is a Batman. Alright. Fully loaded with soda. Thank you, Twin TMTM. Also, how's it going? I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday so far. Alright, I'll leave that up for another couple minutes. And then we'll start the episode. 
I'm going to do keyboard and mouse on this one. No controllers here. This. This will be awesome, guys. I'm even wearing my fantastic, extra fantastic Catwoman shirt today. I'm so ready. Give it one more minute. Oh no, it's your birthday! Oh my goodness, happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday! Surprise, motherfucker. Woo! Oh, we gotta change the song! Oh, I know that your your head colds feeling uh, making you feel a little poopy, but I hope you feel better. Take care of yourself. Have some tea. Treat yourself on your birthday. Happy birthday! All right. Leave the code up for one more minute, and then let's change. Let's change this song. Here we go. 80s retro song. I can't tilt my head back any further. My head so it will go flying off. So this is the variant Tam Tam. <laughs> Well, I hope you have a great birthday. Hope you feel a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna get this episode started. Let's get this shenanigans on the road here. All right, let's go. Ooh, bat tech color. Let's go. You know, let's go purple. Let's go purple bat tech. I'm just gonna keep dancing until Batman loads. Ah, oh, there we go. And you guys also got the code up there so you guys can join whenever you want. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. Interactive Batman. All right. Oh shit. Jesus, that was loud. Oh no, I'm gonna have to move my webcam. It's Gotham City, 8.24 p.m. What are you <gasps> Damn, that was fast. Are they already busting into City Hall? Oh boy, here we go. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? We'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. a little bit. Hang on. Let me pause for a second. Let me change the settings. 
do 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 do. Uh, go me. No, not low. Go medium. Really? It's only high? Oh, okay. Uh, no, let's keep that on. Okay. See if that helps a little bit. Move in. Okay, good. Oh shit. Oh no! One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Harvey Dent. Alright. Ooh, that purple bat tech. That bat tech, though. Coming in. Surprise. Oh, am I going to punch him? I'm going to have to punch him. Uh, or not. You can't keep doing this. I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safe now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs. Ooh, shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Shit! Oh. The hell he got? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Okay, now I'm gonna have to beat these guys up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, go, 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 Surprise, oh, motherfuckers! We <laughs> <laughs> got one! We got two! Third one's for good luck. Come on. Oh, shifty? Got him. Noise. Ooh. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Oh. Sometimes you need a monster. <gasps> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. Get him. Down. Oh, shift, shifty, shifty. Uh, Should have plugged in the controller for this one. Got him. Uh, got him. 
There we go. Full Batman mode. Got him. Get him again. Finishing blow. Oh, jeez. Got him. Oh. Ooh, through that door. Up, up, up. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Oh, no. Sideswipe. Hey, Dave. Daryl, who is it? Eat. Oh, that was a sweet fish hook. Just clotheslined it backwards. Woof. Nice. Stay where you are. You're oh, come right. on, no. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. Oh, so no. are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Yeah, sure. Sure, Bruce. Without a scratch. So far. What? That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if they'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The <laughs> law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit. Tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in armor. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. Mm. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And let's put you in a cage. Oh, shit. Bring it, Bat. <sighs> This isn't going to end well, sir. Ooh. Almost missed that one. Glasses, man. You, you're gonna take that one. That was rude. Oh boy. in the backpack. Oh, this ain't over. trouble for this shit a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood ooh god damn it that don't shoot oh no. wait <laughs> 
Cat's claw. Ooh, get it. That was a mistake, buddy. think was gonna happen when he EMP'd her come on oh and she lost her glasses guess I was wrong about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours don't struggle or you'll fall no, but that's what you crave the struggle I know men like you She took a shit. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Hmm. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Oh, damn, Alfred. Run. Time to save the city. Alright. We're in Bruce mode. Achievement unlocked. Welcome to the Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. He's still got Even the scratches on his face. Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long. This city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Hmm. If only Mr. Wayne, hmm. my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably great <laughs> as <well. laughs> Say hi, Bruce. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. <laughs> Mr. I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone. For I want to derpy Bruce right, Wayne. Just because... Together, it's funny. we will change God. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. There we go. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire <clears throat> angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. There we go. I'd like to make an entrance. I just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. Hmm. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? Hmm. Well, I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. Tell me a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. With the grease, they're the wheels. Yep. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. <laughs> I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Hmm. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since. Oh, oh, our no new face. New face for Gotham. Sorry. Damn it! Ah, oh, I didn't click it in time. Stick with elect Harvey Dent. Oh God, it's so boring. Damn it! 
Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. There we go. Uh-oh. Something's gonna happen. Who's this drunk guy? Hans. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last night. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. Ooh. You believe in Dent? We believe in you. After all, Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to we lead can, this we city can make to all the difference. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. That's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, mm -hmm. right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Mm -hmm. Like birds. We're bats. Here. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Why, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that cake bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Mm. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an huh. idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. Arkham is unsecure? We'll to Thomas and Martha Way. Mm -hmm. hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. Yeah, that's cool. Let's just talk about that like it's nothing. It's fine. Man mm -hmm. Gotten the right treatment, maybe. Just well, that. I don't like to think about maybe's. That was a while ago. And I'm sure you don't either. Yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course, of course. Hmm. Together, we'll help the whole city. I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Hmm. It is a night of bringing endorsements. Jingle. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And no. reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. Mm-hmm. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, uh. Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party uh, before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day. <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. 
Mr. Wayne, you, you've got something on your collar. Ah, uh, blood. <laughs> Is that blood? Yeah. Mm. It looks like... Play it off. Play it off. Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It's just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, Another guest has arrived. I'm uh -oh. sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Uh-oh. Carmine Falcone? Ooh. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Hmm. Why would he be showing up? And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This mm. is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. So he invited us. him? Bitch! At least to hear him out before you kick him out. This Falcone doesn't look good, homie. Jesus, honey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser? Thank doesn't you. Doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Hmm. Oh, of course, everyone's watching now. You're a respectable man, I hear. Uh. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Uh, Gentlemen. no. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Oh, yeah. Hey, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... What? Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Rufus. Really? You'll he invites him you. and... I saw plenty of skirts nope. to keep you busy for a few minutes. Nope, Harvey comes with. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Also, he was See, the one that invited him, her. not me. Yes. So he gets involved. Mm -mm. Oh, no. It's about to go sideways, I can tell. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are gone. Uh-oh. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say it he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry the city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. Mm, 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 mm. Of course he'd want to make a hey, freaking proposition. Politics, Mr. Wayne. Get out of here. Mm -mm. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Oh, boy. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Uh, no. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Uh, no, douchebag. Okay, imagine, this is me. And oh, these are Lord. all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets away. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. To Hope make, to make a new, new friend. friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. Mm -hmm. If need be. To 
between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. Oh, I know bitch. somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. What? I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Now they're leaving? Hey, Uh-oh. I appreciate uh -oh. the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Hmm. Is it the end of the first episode already? Oh, my neighbors are doing crazy fireworks. Hang on. Can you guys hear that? Oh no. Batman! <laughs> Oh, we're just barely getting started. Oh, shit. It's me. Oh, he's in the bat cave now. Nice. Still out. Hey, not Abbott. How's it going? I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Just getting started on some Batman. Not all of them. See what she was really after. Oh, that's right. I forgot he snagged it. He got it. All right, retrieve the data drive. They fell off a building for this. <laughs> All right, back to the computer. Where is it? Uh, open port, data port. Okay, that is a super sweet hiding spot for a freaking computer chair. It's Holy crap. So it was pretty good. Yeah, encrypted. Well then, uncrypted. Seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. <laughs> in a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. Yeah, well, this is the only room that really matters. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. <laughs> the dusting is murder. <laughs> Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Hmm? What are we looking at? Let me try a different. Oh, 
the full layout. Okay. What am I looking at? What am I looking for? It won't let me zoom out. Let's uh, rotate, rotate. Nope, that's as far as it rotates. That's as far as she rotates. Hmm. All right, what do you want me to look at? Keep moving, keep moving. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Isn't that the spot that Phil Coney was just talking about, too? Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... Mm -mm -mm. I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Ugh, good. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. Uh -huh. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat. Huh. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've huh. seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Okay, do 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 do. What is this? Oh. Found her. Oh, that was it. Oswald Cobblepot? What the heck? Whoop! Nope. There we go. Previous menu. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Mm -mm. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know about that. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. Oh, girl. I was talking about Bruce. Now, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but. No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. <laughs> a necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. Huh. One more worry for the list. It's on the back of it. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Also, huh. however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? Mm -hmm. a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, huh. you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break -in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> fun kind of trouble. 
You're Maybe. Even though you and your master her. Cobble Pot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be <laughs> careful, <laughs> Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Uh oh. Cobble Pot Park. Achievement unlocked. The one that got away. Keep walking, Brucey. Where are you, Oz? Oh, jeez. warm yourself by it, whatever works. Great. There's the statue, but no Oz. Mm. Not a coincidence that he's not there on time. Straight up. Straight up. Look at the statue. What's it gonna tell me? What do you got for me, Mr. Cobblepot? Oh. Watch Wallet Cash. Really? This goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. Uh, let's let's end him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right. This don't concern you, twerp. Mm -mm -mm. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. In the moment. Come here. I think that'll do. Oh, he did get in. He was running the boxing rings. Stay down. Dodge that shit. Oh, okay. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Ha ha ha. Bruce, you've got a little, uh... A little hey, red on ya. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Mm. Oh, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. It's been what? Two decades. Yeah. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Uh, uh, right uh. now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. I didn't even get a chance to look at the this statue. Damn. Place. A place for safe, for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. Oh. <sighs> this city chews right through people. 
Mum, come into Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, please. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we do. Hobnob and parties, round the world vacation, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own feelings to attend. Good to know you have insurance, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Well, surprised me too. Home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Mm -hmm. Falcone... But tell him what he wants to hear. Corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And uh -oh. it'll be a treat to watch him at pavement. Hmm. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? Hmm. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Uh-oh. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wade Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. Uh -huh. Oh, when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. So like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? Uh I've got okay. a great for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Was that a threat? Good Is that a threat? You, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mm. That's some shady motherfucking shit right there. Mmm. Oh, she's already got a press conference. Damn! All right, all right, all right. Oz is already being shady. Oh boy, we'll see. Oh, uh, press press conference. All right, let's do this. We swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> but we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> We're here about Arkham Asylum. All right, all right, all right. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, even uh -oh. more dangerous than before they went Shit. in. Shit! Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. Uh -oh. But today, uh -oh. with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. Oh, one that boy. will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. <laughs> Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to yeah. say. Bruce? Sure. There, there. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, 
sweat, and tears in this city. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Hmm. <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Hmm. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, oh, shit. we dedicate this facility to Thomas oh. and Martha Wayne and oh. usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm a scattered applause. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. Oh, here we go. You uh -oh. first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. We, all right, who's up next? Oh, Wayne, uh, you there. That Wayne, interesting take. Of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Mm. Harvey there we go. is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please keep your questions on topic, people. Ooh. We're here about the hospital, remember? It's got to be Alfred. Mm -hmm. uh. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. Oh, exactly shit. Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. How did the you get that information? Your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? Um... You know, let's... How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder, and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, Ooh. Your money dirty. Is the shut him like down. Did you know about oh, this no. Place? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Well, what are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family uh -oh. been dealing with Falcone? Could oh, jeez. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Oh, it was all his fault. Territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep. Yeah, this yeah, that's why the police is at his house. Bruce, oh. I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. They're in the calls coming from inside the house. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. What the fuck? How the it's fast... I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's got to be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Uh... I meant what I said about not personal. I don't care. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. Yeah, who's the top? It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. 
As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. Mm-hmm. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. What the fuck broke? to do this. Hmm. Oh, cuz he j oh, Bruce. he had the tickets out. Bruce. Bruce? I I didn't mean to interrupt, but I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay, flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, well, enough to get like the mayor to get a warrant appear. down. Someone is going after my family, after me. Mm -hmm. Obviously the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. Ooh, you need bitch. To get out of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Uh, okay. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Because at least that'll be one good media outlet. It sucks that she cornered him and broke into his house. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Now stop showing up in my house uninvited, bitch. Damn. Alfred, lock the door. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents' not yep. coincidence. Mm -hmm. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. There you go. Thanks, Alfred. He got it. Alfred's Alfred's in it. Alfred's got it. Alfred's in the pocket. 
He knows what's up. The warrant? What the hell's going on? Bitch! Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? I'm in a lot of trouble, Harvey. And I need your help to get me out of it. Yes, of course. Of course, whatever I can do. It was all because of your uninvited guest, a biatch. Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Mm. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mary Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? No, because he knows he'll take him down sense. with him. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish? It's politics. Other than a few cheap headlines. It's got to be politically motivated. I mean, Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low. Even for Hill. It's connected somehow to us. Harvey, or, um, Bruce, I wish Oz. I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. Um... It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. Oh, shit. No, not quite what I it. meant. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. <gasps> Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh -huh. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. Ah, ha, ha, ha! It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. A new? Okay. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can... Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around uh -oh, town. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. Oh. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. <laughs> I can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. <laughs> Probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, mm. people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. At okay. least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it. Damn. Him. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. There we go. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> are we just doing the Mexican stare down? Yeah, we are. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Hmm. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? 
I think he'd be surprised at you. Everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Hmm. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something now. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? Uh. I have to. But you. Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. There we go. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Yep. You don't get to know that much about me. Not yet. You have something that Not belongs yet. to me. <gasps> I want it back. Surprise, motherfucker. This is awkward for me. <laughs> I'm used to robbing people. Who hired you? <laughs> Who do you work for? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. Mm. But you know who I am. Yeah, you These do. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. That looks like you've made your bed. Do it. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. <laughs> you owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. <laughs> I don't like consequences. You don't need me. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. <laughs> I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, Ooh. give me the drive. I guess you're not making your drop. Selena. Please, give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. <laughs> as as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. What are you supposed to meet him? Go knock him around a little bit. Ago. Pop, pop. Better hurry. Gotta go. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. There we go. Nice cover, Bruce. Nice cover. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? <laughs> yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Don't screw it up. All right. Words of confidence from Catwoman. All right. All right, before this gets started, I'm actually going to pause it real fast. I'm going to refuel on my soda because I need another drink. So, guys, don't go anywhere. There's still some more Batman sh shenanigans to be had. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. I got my tea. I'm ready to go. Let's keep running through this episode. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. The east side docks. Oh, it still didn't show up for you guys. Dang it. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, boy. Let's open the doors. Let's hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. <laughs> this wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. Oh boy. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Ooh. Oh, good lord! Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Oh boy. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. It's police and baddies alike. Oh, oh, now you're leaving it up to me? Now you leave me with making decisions? Okay, scorch marks. Exploded. Nothing left to bury. Explode. Oh. Explosion! Oof. Oof. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Oh. Uh. Be very, very careful with that. Knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Oh, 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 hold up. Oh. Tag them together. Yes. Link these things. Straight up. Link to. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. Jeez. The chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. Let's uh, see what I can piece back together. Hmm. Oh, it's some something to do maybe with like a bullet fire. Hold up, the shipping door. Or examine, examine. My bad. Something the canister popped through exploded, there. sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Ooh. You. Can you open it? Let's... Oh, jeez. One more. There we go. Got it. Alright. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, shrapnel. Right here. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. How high high velocity round? Hang on, I gotta examine this guy. I've seen these outfits before. And well, they were Same at City Hall. That broke into City Hall. So they're just hired thugs. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Explosions! Explosion! And then let's uh, let's link that up. Let's just that. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister, but I need to know what caused the explosion. On the other side. Okay, dead. He's left in an interesting position. Not bad. He's missing an eye. Wait, claw. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Definitely not natural. 
Oh, pocket. Skylight Club. Hmm. Okay, burnt cop. Check out the burnt cop. Or not. But he's got his eyes scratched out too. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Yeah. What did this? Something melted him from inside. Oh god, what's he doing? Ooh. Oh god, to extract the bullet? It's literally just letting me side to side. It's not Oof. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. Oh. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. There it is. Incendiary round. God damn it. Blood. Bloody. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Did he kill that guy? Okay, hold up. Yeah, link these two things. Uh, bloody fingies. The cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, oh, let's link the incendiary bullet. Um, all the way over here. Oh, guess it won't let me. I thought it, I think it would let me do this. It won't. Nope, I guess not. Okay, what else? Oh, get around the guy, Batman. There's dead the guy. Alright, fine. Something else I'm not seeing. Oh, here. White Rose? White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Mm. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. <coughs> I want to know his everything. Good thinking, sir. Hang on, I gotta pull my tea bags. Okay, uh, Falcone calling card, um, incendiary bullet, melted off face, let's see. Oh, um, I have to break the link on this one, that's what it is. Ha ha ha, god damn it. Okay, incendiary bullet. Unlink it. So link. Link to. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Hmm. Pallets. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Okay, nothing to link. Uh, do 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 do. Uh. Ah, whoops. Let me 
So the blast epicenter, it's got to be the same canister. So hold up. Link. Uh, well, let me link up over here. Whoop, wait, unscorched area, that's what I'm missing. It was a truck. Something was here when the explosion occurred. He's carrying something. Oh. There we go. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. That's it? That's it. Okay, so unscorched area. Oh. Link to. Whatever was on the truck. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. There we go. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. And also that confirms that uh Falcone was possibly the one that hired her. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Hmm. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Yep. Looks like they Falcone's got away. men got what they wanted. And escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, hmm. and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Here we go. No, I think he would have blown out. I'm gonna go over here. Oop. Oh, more fireworks. Phosphorus residue. Got him. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Chicken dinner. All right, uh, let's check the residue. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Follow the trail. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Uh huh. Time to go to work. World's greatest detective. Oh, bitch, he dead. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> True what they said about you. You're a friggin' animal. What? There. Give me a reason to stop. 
You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Mm. I ain't scared of you, man. I hit the barrel. Tell me. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive. Knew it. The container number we she was hired. Ah. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Ah. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Jeez. Some kind of chemicals. I guess my neighbors are doing like a shit ton of fireworks. My kitty is investigating. <laughs> what are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Break his arm. Break his arm. Apply pressure. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. Ooh. Ooh. Some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. Mm. I was just here for a pickup. I swear. You're fat. You're supposed to be a good guy. A bitch. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Don't leave him. Run away. Run away. Time to go. No, oh, Mo Moxie wants to be to a detective. Yeah, she's she's head of security here. She's in charge. Go on, bitches, like that wind. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Ooh. Uh oh. Even Alfred's trying to warn me. That says something. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Oh no. Your parents didn't raise you this way. It was I I. he's still alive. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time it might be the morgue. Especially now during this preposterous attack on your family hmm. you must show the world the true nature of a wade giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it my thoughts exactly every time you leave this cave oh damn well okay you're a good man bruce good just like your parents don't lose that i don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject but as a friend the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. Mm. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Oof. That night, that alleyway. It made me who I am. I mm -hmm. can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Uh -uh. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Ooh. Well, got it. Back into the fray again. They got it. All right, what do we got? What do we got? 
that computer. Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Cause he's in the pocket. Running mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard ever. Mm. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Mm. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Ooh, hold up, hold up. Okay, so... I either give it to Vicky, this information to Vicky, and the media. But I mean... I'm afraid if I give this to Gordon, nothing's gonna happen, because I feel like Gordon's in Mayor Hill's pocket. So in order for him to get his forces mobilized, he's got to... Mm. But then also that could lead back to the Wayne family if I do give it to Vicky because she will, she will quote me on it. Oh God. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. Oh, I hope that was a right choice. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. Oh shit, we're gonna this go do this tonight? Juice, eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Oh boy. We'll see how this goes. Ah, we're get, we're going to try and take out Falcone tonight. Damn. Rushing this. This This is a silver bullet. Mhm. Mm it's going to put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Oh boy. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. Uh. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand, oh, I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. I oh, came from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. 
Because I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. All right, hey, hope that was the right stick choice. Stick to Jim. Huh. Stick to Jim. All right. Okay. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Ding, 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 ding. That kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Hmm? Oh, ho, ho. cloaking device. Damn. Bazinga. That was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. <laughs> Oh, Skyline Club, here we go. We're taking out Falcone. Here it goes. Nothing is more badass than treating a woman with respect. Oh, I don't. What the heck? The drone's cameras and scanning tech. I don't know why I broke that up into three separate. All right. Chat Let's things. Streamlabs is being weird today, guys. All right, uh, Falcone, do the balcony. What else I got? Okay, balcony. Where else are we going? We're going around. We're moving around. We got modern art. We got what is up here? That rose. The white rose. Falcone symbol. The red rose after tonight. Oh, girl. Alright, there's modern art. Anywhere to break in up there like the office? That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. He's gotta go in through the door. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Okay, here we go. Alright. Let's go back to the beginning. Side swoopity whoop. Okay. <clears throat> we gotta get this bitch. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Balcony railing. Fancy. Oh, so I'm planning my attack. Aha! Got one. All right, where is a uh, a mobster a number two? Right here. Gun man and a marble pillar. Come in, bash him in the face. Alright, alright, alright. So then, next question is where is the third uh, uh, mobster? This guy? This guy? This guy? This guy? These guys sitting down. Folding screen, coffee table. Let's do him to a large coffee table. Mobster. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Modern art. There we go. Jeez. All right. Bruce. We got it. 
going in. Let's do this, guys. It's blue. Going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Let's go. Here we go. Oh no, I missed it. There we go. I got it. Smashy, smashy. Got him. Swipe. Oh, man. Got him in the face. Oh, time to go, buddy. Three guys. Oof. Ooh, shit, I missed that one. Oh, shit. Really? Get him. There we go. Twofer. Let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> All right. Show yourself. You got no goddamn right to be here. We gonna get him? We gonna right. get him? Down. Oof. Get him in the back. Ooh, in the shoulder. Let's go. How about this one? You can't sneak up on me. Well, he's got her guns. We moving, buddy? Oh, shifty. It's in. It's in. MP baby. Got him. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit. Let's go through the window. Oh, I thought Stay that was the window. Down, That's fine. Falcone. We can end this now. You never get me alive, you robotic soul, man. Not today. Barrel roll. EMP again? Oh, we're doing it again. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we got him. Nah. Nah, bitch. Boink. There we go. Lost, I can give you a few more rounds. Don't push him off. The killers. Where are they? Don't push him off. I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to leave you here? It was to send a message to who? Something about this old thing. And it is a dead bastard. Nah, bitch. He's <laughs> gonna headbutt him. Play games. Don't Roman drop him. Including you. Less chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, alright? Just don't, don't drop him, homie. Throw him, throw him. Come on. But someone trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? Mm -hmm. No, with that Gotham's watching now. Ah. Something, something. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by something. tomorrow morning. Ah. Arrest. Arrest. Oh. Uh -oh. 
No. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Oh shit! Man. Really regretting the decision to give over that information to Gordon. Achievement unlocked. Room with a view. Dang, man! I love these games because you feel like you lose every time you make a decision, no matter what you do. <laughs> Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Eh? Say the crime boss getting his is well overdue. Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. Got him! Speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. Uh oh. The Wayne family. For generations, the big oh. W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Uh -oh. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. Yep. In his defense, Wayne fired back, saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world Oof. where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Mm. Time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. God, what an entrance. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. Uh-oh. Is he gonna confront if Alfred? Telling the truth about my parents. Then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Ooh. Alfred! Damn. Family secrets. Achievement unlocked. Ooh, girl. All right. What are my choices? Uh, cool. Provided a story for Vicky. That's cool. Fifty-one percent. Oh my God! A split. Holy crap! Right down the middle. Okay, seventy-two percent also gave it to Gordon. I want to see what happens though if the information does go to Vicky and then we do take out Falcone. Showed restraint, safe and sound. All right. Oh. Wait, Troy Baker? 
hold up, hold up, hold up. Troy Baker is the voice of Bruce Wayne, and Laura Bailey is the voice of Catwoman. What? How did I just? How did? How? How? How did I just now realize this? My brain, my brain right now. Oh my god, that is awesome! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, this makes me like ten times more excited to play this game. Ah, that's so cool! Oh, uh, and we got through episode one. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. Oh, Alfred. I would never betray them. Next time on Batman. Explosion. Your yes. parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. Wonder who he's after next. Oh! No! Mr. Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. Hmm. I will find the truth. <laughs> Along with anyone who stands in my way. Noise. Next time on Batman. Episode 2. Woo. I'm surprised we got through it that fast. Holy cow. And then, guys, next time I'm going to put in uh, the chat a command and hopefully Streamlabs doesn't freak the fuck out again. Uh, so you guys can join in on the crowd play so you guys can cast your vote for uh, what you think Bruce should do or You know put together a, a fight scene kind of thing Super excited to keep playing through so you guys can also chip in and uh, cast your votes on what you think I should do as well so guys don't forget to tune in not tomorrow. Yes, just kidding. It's Saturday <laughs> It's Saturday, guys, so tomorrow there's going to be some Witcher shenanigans from 5 to 7 p.m. Also, don't forget to join the Discord so you stay up to date of what is happening later this week for more gaming shenanigans. All right, it's taking forever doing my cloud save. But, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Ah, Fine, just disable cloud save. There we go. Children of Arkham. That is gonna be next time on Batman. Which will be next Saturday, right here, same time. 1 to 3.30 p.m. Gonna be playing episode 2. Actually, I'm, I'm so excited now to play this next episode. Because I can't... I can't wait to see what happens, because... Laura, Laura Bailey is Catwoman. I'm, I'm so my body is ready for this. And then Troy Baker is Batman. This, holy shit, this, this is just perfect. This is absolutely fantastic. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me while I start episode one of Batman: The Telltale Series. We'll be continuing our playthrough next week, next Saturday, one to three p.m. Playing episode two, The Children of Arkham. All right, guys, be excellent to each other. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday evening. Don't get into too much shenanigans. I wouldn't do. And I will catch you guys here tomorrow night for some Witcher shenanigans. Let's get it on with more adventures of a Jer Bear. So don't forget, tune in tomorrow for some Witcher shenanigans. And then back on Monday for some overwatch shenanigans for blizzard monday 
guys much love i will see you tomorrow for some more shenanigans be excellent to each other have a fantastic rest of your saturday